Okay, so what do you think's inside the box? And then just do a bit of a reveal. Hello and welcome back to another video and this is number three of three of the museum loan series. Now if you haven't seen the previous two I was lucky enough to get some items that were being sold off by Doncaster Museum Services so from their science museum loans and their art museum loans. So basically back in the 80s, the late 80s um, they would basically loan out really fantastic items to schools etc to help them with projects so anything from uh, space so my previous ones were a really large one meter tall uh, rocket and a smaller Apollo uh, module one these ones here some taxidermy um, it could be railways dinosaurs all that kind of stuff we load out to schools as a physical thing for you know for educational purposes for people to see touch draw etc to help with the education and then they'd go back in and obviously in this day and age they're just not used so much with the internet and things like that so which is a real shame um anyway i was lucky enough to get hold of some and in this one we'll be looking at these two uh, pieces of taxidermy now some people hate taxidermy some people don't get it and some people like me do i kind of see it as a bit of a curiosity and oddity type thing the fact that you've got an animal in it and it gives certain vibes uh, certainly here in the man cave i have two pieces myself i have a stoke back here and i also have a, an owl up here it just fits in with 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 the vibe so i only really get things in that interest me and, and hopefully you'll enjoy looking at these too so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to start off with this one move on to here and then i'm actually maybe i'm going to feature my own back there so the first one that we have and as per the other two, I'll be splicing in some close-up footage as we go, is this uh, stoat. And inside it says Doncaster Museum and Art Gallery, uh, Education uh, Service, underneath stoat, and then uh, NH slash uh, 127F, no, 127F. And that's it, the, the, uh, what you can see here as well, and here as well on the perspex. So general condition for this perspex is it's got a large crack here and here and scratches that you'd associate with it being loaned out and transported and, and that kind of thing. Now, what I would maybe suggest is you do have the stickers on here and it's nice to have the display, but it might display a little bit better with this off. So what there was was two of the original screws were still, uh, were still with it that go in the sides and then I've just added another two here as well. So what I found was there's there's four screw holes, two on each side, and these would hold the perspex to the base, but the perspex is really heavy and the base is actually quite thin. So what I found was when I took this off, there was kind of a split here where the weight of the perspex had weighed it down and a split on the other side. So what I've done is just on the bottom, I've just put in a screw here and here just to tighten that split back together. So you can actually put the screws back in and hold it to the base rather than it being on. But you may just wish to just have it out in the open like this because you still have this lovely stoat and you still have still have that um, um, kind of uh, provenance here with the with the sticker on as well. As you can see, the stoat is, uh, is, is in nice condition. It's just kind of in a, a walking pose going along just on, on the plain base. Um, and you can see it around there, just on a, a bit of an unusual, usually you'd expect it kind of on brown or with something underneath, but just a, a green painted uh, piece of board with um, kind of four feet under here and a bit of tape just where the wires that protrude down from its feet would just stick down into. So you could have it open like this, or you could add on the Perspex top and you could maybe leave it like this all the way down. Or should you choose you can lift it up slightly and then put the screws in but there's a lot of weight on there but it, it should be fine so that's the first one now the second one is this one here and i might i might actually keep hold of this one but i'll feature it now anyway in case i sell it down the line uh, so every now and then i get a seller's remorse and i try not to keep everything i get in but sometimes when I can do kind of a one-for-one -one swap, I, I will do so. So I might, I might keep this one and I might sell that one. But anyway, I'm, I'm digressing. What we have here is this really fantastic um, um, box, you know, that's been made out of wood here. Just it, the proportions are, are really nice. It's got this sliding front on here and, and a little bit of a, of a black catch. I don't think there was anything on the base there. So you have this box and you're kind of thinking, well, that's nice in itself, what's inside? Well, if you turn this section here and slide up, first of all, there's just a number 68 on the back. 
which is nice, but we put that to one side. And then inside there, you can see this little weasel just inside there. And then what you can then do in this lovely purpose-built carrying case is just slide this weasel out like that, which I thought was so nice. You know, just a small, it's a very small item. But on top of that, the weasel also is on this base, it's on its log, it's got um, gravel down here at the, at the bottom as well. And what I should then also point out is underneath at the bottom here, it says weasel October 1989 so the previously I was guessing it was going to be in the 80s and I did say maybe early 90s so 1989 starting to to date these range of loans and then it says Doncaster Museum Services Museum Loans Weasel NH slash 157A and what's really nice you know people used to do things properly back in the day on the side of this lovely wooden built box you've got someone who's stenciled that's a code on the side here so that you know that they match up. So yeah, the weasel is uh, is nicely posed. It's much smaller. It's just on the branch looking away. And you've got the, the detail of that, uh, of that. And you know, you could either have it out separately or just kind of pop it on top. And then when you're done, just slide it back inside. A little bit of a jiggle just to get it to fit. And then slide the door inside but you can almost imagine at school if they didn't know what they were going to get you could have this and be like okay so what do you think's inside the box and then just do a bit of a reveal i mean that would just be fantastic so anyway um that's those two items two fantastic uh, loan items but what i'm going to do is because i might keep hold of the weasel i'm also going to just show you my my stoat my own stoat in case i sell it instead so i have this really nice stoat up here as you can see it's similar to the other one down here if i, to, if I to take the perspex off so here you can see the stoats this one kind of stretched out they've got the uh, kind of um, darker tips to their tails and this one here it's in this really nice staging it's, it's almost like a combination of the two you've got the um slightly bigger size of the stoat but then it's all it's sat on the branch it's got its paws upon here it's in lovely condition uh real real nice and easy to display um but yeah what i think i might do i'm fully decided is i think i'll be selling this stoat here as long along with this one here and maybe holding on to that one for a little bit but in summary what we have here are two x museum loan items uh, this one from the Doncaster Museum and Art Gallery, and then the other one uh, saying that it is from the uh, Doncaster Museum Services. So both loan items, presumably from uh, from the 80s, will be loaned out. One's a weasel here on the base uh, with a large perspex top, and the other one is the uh, uh, sorry the stoat within there and the other one is the weasel within this lovely box i hope you enjoyed watching the video if you did please like subscribe it really helps me out uh, leave a comment if as well if you uh, if you want to support me that way uh, these will be going on to my ebay shortly and until the next one all the best take care and see you